come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. In our quest for total world domination, both the living and the dead worlds. Oh, all worlds. All the spectrums. All, all the well, realms. we've got double the work. God damn all it. the realms. Uh, Sean's lazy. He can't handle I that. Don't want the, it's hard enough dealing with humans. <laughs> yeah. Now we got to deal with demons. Demons, too. Wow. Yeah. Demons might be easier. Well, these, I mean, they're more. They usually come with doing, a set of rules. Think, yeah. yeah, right. They're more by the book. To, yeah. to get rid of them, there's ways to invite <laughs> them in. We're going to find out all about that. These are the internet radio superstars: Sean, Michaela, Holly, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by Holly. Mm. Holly, oh, where did we go tonight? Uh, tonight we went to the mausoleum. Ooh, dun, 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 dun. Dun. <laughs> what year was this mausoleum crafted? Mm, 1983. Okay. Mm-hmm. So 40 years old. Yay! Yeah. Congrats, well, movie. Yeah, it started filming in 81. Oh. <laughs> okay. It took 82 weekends to finish. Yeah. Mm. Um, directed by... Mm. Michael Dugan. Uh, Michael Dugan, has he done it? No, you wouldn't know him for anything. Oh. Unless you saw that one episode of Beavis and Butthead. I really? probably yeah. saw it. <laughs> or like one episode what, of Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah, did he direct an animated... Um, Show though. Well, he he directed a movie called Super Seal, and he directed a movie called Raging Hormones. Oh, oh ew! Are these he, porno movies? Uh, <laughs> sounds like sex comedies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then he wrote an episode of Beavis and Butthead. He wrote an episode of Santa Barbara. Like he's done. Oh, nothing. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. So no, you would not have heard of him. Okay. So, Mausoleum, uh, it comes to us tonight in a very uh, unique way for you, Holly. We'll for say. me, a very unique way for me. How did how, how that come about? Um. If anyone out there is trying to watch this, it'll be difficult for you to find it. It's not really streaming anywhere. Um, and I didn't look at YouTube, so I don't know if it's there. But we watched it on the Vinegar Syndrome release. We really should get a sponsorship. I know. Physical yeah. media. I think we misidentified. Last week, you are right. It was Massacre Video put out Hacker Lantern. We said Vinegar Syndrome. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. But yeah, we, we end up always watching these yeah. Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome. This is, this is yeah. I mean, listeners don't know that I personally am not a physical media person. Yeah. The freak show is divided. <laughs> We're very divided. <laughs> Michaela and I prefer streaming, yep. and Sean and Gallon prefer there's physical media. nothing wrong media. with yeah. streaming, but yeah. they, I mean, there's plenty wrong with streaming. Let me take that back. Yeah. There's but. plenty wrong with physical media, too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <sighs> but at least you can <laughs> but it's so find pretty. movies like Mausoleum on physical media. Why do you have Mausoleum yes. on yeah. physical media? I think we just... Oh, because you just had to order it because for tonight. I think. Well, no, I have had it. <laughs> oh, have yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. okay all right. So what brought how you to did you mausoleum? Discover this yeah, movie? yeah. Um, I. How did I? Discover you think you remember? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seeing a movie no. Like this. I, yeah. And why? Did you see it? Then you ordered it, or you ordered it and then saw it. I ordered it and then saw okay. it. Okay. Yeah. So something you read. Something, something triggered like, I gotta me. See that one. Something triggered me, and I ordered it. And then I was like, this was a very good decision. You're like, I remember when I was possessed by a demon. Yeah, well, cur- I'm currently possessed by a demon, as you can hear. Yeah, 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 currently yeah. possessed. It, um, yeah. It's so funny this is on your list, because I was... Um, the, the horror subreddit will have like topic threads every week and mm-hmm. one of them is like, name a movie that like is actually underrated. Like, you know, because people will... Mm-hmm. pull things out of their ass but well, I mean I was scrolling out looking for freak show, show, show suggestions and someone commented mausoleum and then the response to that said is that that movie with them demon titties <laughs> and I said oh my god I'm putting this on the freak show That's list it. and then the, another person responded just yes and I was like oh my god yes. like, <laughs> I gotta watch this movie what, uh, what happened was I read about this movie like again, like yeah. doing re- we. This is what we do. We go down rabbit holes searching for stuff to bring to the show. Yep. And I put this on my list, and then I went looking to see where you could find it. And Vinegar Syndrome had released it. I think in 2018. Mm-hmm. I think is when it was released. Um, and I think it was like a prime deal that they had oh, nice. on sale. Mm-hmm. Oh. This this was like uh, six months ago or so, gotcha. or whatever it was. So I bought it, and then I watched it, and I was like, okay, I'm okay with this purchase. Yes. <laughs> And then I was like, I'm saving this for Halloween. Mm, so, okay, so you've yeah. had this one. I've in had your this hip one. I've had this one in the in the wings for a while. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is uh, yeah, because I remember for that company, this was one of their like flagship titles that people remembered. I mean, it's a movie you remember from the video store days. Yeah. Uh, 
the original artwork from it, which is preserved in here. Mm -hmm. I always got this confused with uh, the Gates of Hell, yeah, uh, or which was City of the Living Dead, but mm -hmm. it was called the Gates of Hell on, on VHS, and it looked just like that. Nice. It's skull over the. Mm -hmm. It's but, cool artwork. And then it I, is cool. Have you ever seen the movie Mortuary, which I also yeah. have gotten? Confused I get them with confused. Liam. Yes. That's the uh, Christopher and Susan George mm -hmm. uh, movie, Mortuary, uh, yeah. which oh, right. has yet to come to the freak it show. Will also oh, been on my list. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's another, like, mm -hmm. what the... Uh, this is a what the fuck movie. This is a what the fuck movie, yeah. which, I mean, that's what we do here. Uh, also, this this might be one of the best possession movies of the year <laughs> that I've seen this year. <laughs> possession, <laughs> you know? possession is back, baby. Yeah. Right there, right there. Like, I'm just it saying, is it is back and it has possessed your titties. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I did, like, I'm sorry. Those I'm not, titties don't. At the time of recording this, I have not seen Exorcist Believer. Only I think mm -hmm. only one of us has t fallen on that sword, mm -hmm. right, Colin? Uh -huh. um, yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to go on on a limb and say they don't dare do anything as adventurous in that no. movie as this movie. No, so. no they do not. This mm -hmm. is, I mean, the 80s were a wild time. Where it was, <laughs> right. I mean, well, Cocaine's is, a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> it's like because you see a lot of uh like i don't know the omen or rosemary's baby or the exorcist obviously are the movies that kind of predate this and then you have uh the the physical uh latex mm -hmm. special effects right and yes. i think anybody who remembers this movie and likes it is because of the effects work right i mean 100%. the gore and the, and the effects so. work mm -hmm. who did it oh that is mr john beekler who yeah. comes up on this show? We name drop him like all the time. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I mean, he's an effects man. You'll, mm -hmm. you'll be effects people are well, they work on everything. Mm -hmm. You know, him, Kevin Yeager, uh, Woodruff, and all them. Show I mean, they work on and, everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have We're so many all credits. These, like awesome special effects guys. Yeah, like they Lodgy. they have to like populate the wall. Yeah, more so yeah. than many other people. They I would designed say. the wall. Yes, exactly. And it's creepy in his hands, and it mm -hmm. is, it's yeah, because this is like fairly early then in Beekler's career. It was right? like um, they he was um he was recommended for this movie, so they like had a they sat down and had a meeting with him, and the reason that he got the the job was because when he came to the meeting, he came with a sketch pad, and he said, "Describe your monster to me." And he drew it out right there in the meeting, and they were like, "This is our guy." There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did it like a police sketch artist. He just drew it out. <laughs> See, was you should be able to pitch more things that way instead yeah. of like, "I'm sorry, like I'm a visual person. I'm not a like auditory person." Like me talking about what I'm going to do versus me showing you what yeah. I'm going to do is like yeah. that's how more jobs, especially did, visual yeah. jobs. When he did be. the sketch, did it did it just look like? The cellar dweller monster. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, all right, all right. I got a different idea. Wait, hold on. And then he draws it, and it's got like. He just added ears, boobs. but it's still the <laughs> cellar dweller monster. Because they like, were they were very much like we want the classic like bee monster like creature feature, mm -hmm. and he was like, so you're like, I'm talking like demon. He's like, what like demon tits? And yeah. they're like, yeah. And he's like, I can do that. <laughs> they're like, oh well, we weren't thinking that, but okay, right? Yeah, well, that works. Well, if this is your first episode of The Freak Show, Beekler was, of course, the guy who he did like a number of, well, like a, a, a We just of, did one of his not long ago, didn't we? Well, we did Cellar Dweller. We did um, both Demon the Bigfoot. Warp. Mm -hmm. Demon Warp. He did the- Right. Um, Which should have been this movie. Yeah. <laughs> as far as titles Directed go. Friday yeah. the 13th, Part mm -hmm. 7. Yep. Directed- um, Passed away a couple didn't years he do ago. Troll, was it Troll 2 his? Or Troll? Troll. Troll, the first Troll. Troll. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Troll 2 was the Italian- he yeah. did the first yeah. troll, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cellar yeah. Dweller and if you if you are one of the individuals like me who got the vinegar syndrome, um, one of the few special features is an interview with him about this movie. Oh, nice. So, nice. Yeah. yeah. When did you say he passed away? It was I think a couple well, years yeah, ago. Yeah, it wasn't very long ago. No, it was like two years ago, something like that. So it's his movie. Are we saying it's, it's, this is a John yes. Carl Beekler well, movie? It is. But <laughs> he gets the credit at the end. It's like special effects by John Carl Beekler. Yeah. <laughs> it is, but I think one of the reasons this movie is known is because it is a Michael Francis movie. A who? <laughs> Michael Francis. He's the producer. So who is Executive Michael producer. Francis? Um you might know him as Yuppie Don. Um he cool. was the head of the Colombo crime family. Oh shit. Yeah, this is a, this is was... a mafia movie. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. Wow. All right, all right. All right. That guy, have you yeah. seen he has like uh, Yuppie Don? He has Yuppie like Don. a YouTube he show. He has a YouTube channel. I watched his whole um he did an episode about this movie and where he talked about his whole experience. Um but yeah, he has a YouTube show like, where he talks about like, Yes. Like it's you can look it up. He talks about um his time in the crime family and his time in Hollywood. So this is his movie. Like not his movie, but um and then he uh was the other guy? Jerry Zimmer. Zimmerman? Zimmerman. Zimmerman, thank you. Um, 
Jerry Zimmerman was was like his right hand man, and he was in some trouble. And so Michael's like, you got a brother in California, go stay with him. So he went out to California and got involved in movies. So he calls up Michael. He's like, hey, I'm doing this movie. I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for us. Send me 83K and you can be an executive producer. We're going to get into movies. So that's how this movie <laughs> wow. was funded. So oh my God. Was you know. his, Gangs just want to branch out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> but was this like uh, money laundering? I mean, I guess not. His name is on it, right? You know, right. Is this he, um, he trying to do like legit business at this point in his career? You got to so, find some legit businesses somewhere. Yeah. yeah so he, he has not specifically said... Obviously, I don't think he's admitted to this like as a crime. Did he do time? I mean, like he I went away he did, or something for a while, time, right? Yeah. Now um, he's like, uh, you know, he's the famous ex. Hearing him guy. talk about this movie he does not talk about it as like a scheme. It's really just like they're jumping into Hollywood. Mm-hmm. However, the budget was eighty three k, and somehow he put one million into it, hmm. and doesn't really have an explanation for that. <laughs> How much so, of it actually was used in the movie? I that's wonder. That's a very yeah, good question. A, yeah. So forty five thousand. Yeah. So money laundering. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Most likely. Okay. <laughs> Let's be real. All right. A bunch of mob related movies have uh, yeah. made it to the, the theater screens over the years, but usually yeah. they are money laundering, not right. like, yes. hey, I'm trying to, I want to make an actual movie. Yes. Yeah, this, and, felt and, this felt more purposeful. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's for you. <laughs> and um, when this. Offers were made, <laughs> they were not refused. <laughs> we yeah. Made, yeah. And when this movie was finished, they took it to Canon Films. And like um, yeah, and Cannon was like, no. Cannon was like, yeah, we'll put it out for twenty five thousand. And oh, he's damn. like, um, that's insulting. <laughs> so he bought his own distribution company and oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> distributed himself. That is such a mob move if I ever heard one. Right? Just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the that's, upside that's of an, it, that's an I bought the airline move. Yeah, but it worked. I mean, I yeah. heard of this movie. You know, uh, back in the video store days, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was also kind of notorious for being a video nasty. It was on the video nasty. Yes, I would assume yes. in the UK, yeah. and uh, I don't know. I've seen it several times since. So somehow I just can't avoid it. It keeps coming around, and people keep showing it to me. Uh, so who who did they who did they get to be in their movie? Um, Bobby Breezy is the star of this movie. Okay, so. Uh, I was, you know, because I've always heard that, you know, it's like yeah. a mausoleum is forever associated with Ooh, Bobby Breesey's in that movie. Yeah. Bobby Breesey, you know, she's so beautiful, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. I'm like, but what do you know her from? And so how do, how did, who is she? Um, she did some, she did some stuff in the eighties, um, like, but like episodes of Charlie's Angels and that kind of thing, you know, I, okay. I, I, I don't, I, I. Is she, she not a ghoulies. Playboy lady? She wasn't. What was she, that? is she not a Playboy lady? I, th- I think is she, she that name just sounds yeah. like a model she of some sort. Yeah, yeah. she's a model, but she I don't was remember a exactly. Bunny, but I don't know if she was actually like a centerfold model. Yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, she gets naked in this movie like so much. You assume yeah. that you know right. she's from Playboy, but yeah, I know she was a bunny at some yeah, point. Yeah, I don't think she was a. Pl- I don't think she was a playmate. And like, she goes into later. She was in Ghoulies. I think she was in Ghoulies. Yeah, anything in Google is just model. Horrific demon model. <laughs> horrific. Demon. I know this is the movie she's known for. Yes. But I know That's she. I yeah, I know she did some. She did at least an episode of Charlie's Angels. So she did do like some work, like legitimate sure. work. Yeah. Um, but Wait, I don't, but small stuff. You're saying that Ghoulies isn't legitimate. Right? I'm gonna say Ghoulies isn't legitimate. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Dang. Working for Charles Band over Ghoulies there. Ghoulies too, maybe. Ghoulies yeah. is just... <laughs> and she was married, I think, to some executive, maybe a film executive it. or I something so. like that. Okay, so Bobby yeah. Breesey is in this movie. Who else is in this movie? Marjo Gortner. Marjo Gortner. Who we love from Star Crash. From Star yeah. Crash. <laughs> yeah. And we still haven't this brought uh, the food of the gods. No. no. We we have another not. good Marjo Gortner. Mm-hmm. But, uh, I think we have to now. Yeah. Put him on the wall, right? Yeah. Sure. But we talked about, do you remember... <laughs> On our Star Crash episode, mm. maybe you weren't here. Was I wasn't. That was. I think it was you, me, Gary, and someone else. Yeah, I was okay. like, it was before me and Michaela. So do you know who Marjo Gortner is? And I, th- I think you were there though, Holly. I wasn't uh, here for Star Crash. Somebody. I feel like I was here for Star maybe Crash. Maybe you were here. Somebody, one of you two was here for Star Crash. It was like or maybe a, I'm thinking of Metal Storm. No, oh, Metal, Metal Storm. Storm. Yeah. Oh, now I gotta here, look Holly. it up. Hold on. Star Crash <laughs> with, uh, so. with Stella Star. If right? I was, I was really drunk because <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Marjo Gortner, if you remember this, mm. was ordained a minister right. at four years old. He was at four, four years old. Four a years child? old. What? Yeah, How that's right. Did he do revivals and shit? Yes. How do you become a child minister, Colin? You have very bad parents. His dad 
was a uh, revivalist preacher. They went around mm-hmm. on tour and they had a multi million dollar, I believe, um, evangelical ministry. He mm-hmm. became this kind of child prodigy mm-hmm. because he was a really good speaker. I guess at four years old, he was like a savant. He was able to, you know, like be very persuasive on stage. And as he grew up, um, he actually, there was a, a documentary made about him in, I think, 1970 called Marjo. And it basically was him kind of exposing how, like, fleecing of people in this kind of, uh, you know, uh, evangelical tent revival <laughs> mm-hmm. situation worked. And I, we didn't do the last exorcism, did we? But they, yeah, well, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. I, Holly I, brought I, it. Yeah, I brought it. I can't it. remember if we talked a little bit about that on that episode but we like that was basically that. yeah the movie marjo oh, i think right, is yeah. the gotcha. inspiration for the last exorcism okay yeah uh, okay. the star crash episode was from that. 2015 so holly okay. and i were both not here for that I don't not know. here yeah. but he's in that i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> marjo gordner i mean how do you explain his acting um Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> he, Canadian. He comes off as a Canadian. Because I think like he went basically like from preaching and his disillusionment to like Hollywood and where he's in mm. movies where he makes out with naked sucky by in bathtubs. Cool. I mean, that's, like a life that's to me. A, what a yeah, life. That, that, that is a flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I thought I made a weird transition from religion to like secular life, but that yeah. guy, yeah, yeah, he yeah. beats yeah. me. Yeah. He, he wins. It's it's in, like when you uh, <laughs> it's, it's the lead in Star Crash. What a trajectory! But it reminds me of like when you think about the fact that like Wes Craven didn't even grow up with a TV in his house and then directed like yeah. some of the most horrifying movies ever made. Like he took that flip the complete other way. <laughs> that explains yeah. Shocker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Shocker was a lot. <laughs> yeah, we did that. Listen episode. to our episode on Shocker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so these are the people who are in the movie, mm-hmm. and who are they in the movie? What what is this movie about? How does how does it start off? It starts off in the mausoleum. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I mean, we get there. It starts off at a starts funeral. Off, starts yeah. off in a graveyard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. With, with um, uh, young- Susan and her Aunt Cora. Mm-hmm. And then, because uh, Susan is a young girl and her mother has just died mm-hmm. uh, for reasons that we don't quite know. Right. Um, but she's being consoled at the grave and she's being told that she's going to go live with her Aunt Cora. She doesn't want to at mm-hmm. all. She's still very... She's traumatic. She's traumatized. Yeah, like she's burying her, her mother. mother and yeah. so you she know? decides to jog away. I would say run, but it's a jog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. And and uh, Cora is beside herself. Uh. At this point, yeah. she yep. lets her little niece run the, away. Well, there's there's a, an implication or whatever. She's not Susan, and you're like, oh, she's appealing to the higher power, right? Sure. There's some right. kind Something's of being... lure of Susan right. is running. She's being but drawn if you're watching the movie, that is not clear. <laughs> <laughs> so this woman is having a breakdown. Yep. Because her her niece is twenty feet away from her, yeah. and that's it. And, we, and she's not bothering to run after her. She's just no. standing there. Wailing. No, she gave up. She's done. Yeah. She's like, ah, no, the power is too strong. I mean, let's be real. She's in her thirties. Like, I don't blame her. I'm not going to chase after a kid either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Susan is drawn to the mausoleum, which, in the middle of a bright sunny day, has the sulfuric cloud of hell smoke in front yeah. of it, and a rainstorm yeah. happening mm-hmm. around it. In a really questionable visual effect. Really questionable. And I don't she, know what you're talking about. She goes in through this. <laughs> so this is where the movie actually, like, because they use that set a lot of, like, uh, the, the narrow passageways yes. that lead you into the stone, mm-hmm. you know, mausoleum where yeah. the coffin Which sits. the outs, I mean, the outs, it's it's a chapel on a cemetery ground. Yeah, it's like, it's a chapel. Yeah. It's not actually a mausoleum. No. But the but, inside, the set yeah. is like, ooh, look at all this. It's got, like, uh, bright day glow mm-hmm. colors, and we've got reds and greens and purples. blues and purples. Mm-hmm. And inside it, there's a coffin, and she's lured to it. A crypt, yes. yes. A crypt. And a shadow Covered figure. Covered in rats. Yeah. Yes. That's Beckoning her. Yeah. I kind of like this because- I like this. I, like it. I didn't notice. I'm like, oh, shadow on the wall. Yeah. We never see this primary antagonist. Well, that's not true. We do uh, eventually, saying, but yeah. there's a character in a robe that we only see as a shadow on the mm-hmm. wall- and he Okay, so is, this guy's not good at his job based on the ending of the movie right. and what we see mm-hmm. at this point. We're going to have questions about that because I am confused as to what that means. He is good at his job. Okay. (laughs) We'll we'll put it together. Should I just spoil this? Uh, Okay. Well, anyway, so there's this character, uh, the shadow, Mm -hmm. who we know has- He's like beckoning. But has a great power because the guy who follows the little girl into the mausoleum, are you lost, little girl? Puts the zap on him, Mm -hmm. and that guy wanders out into the the cemetery. Where his head explodes. Yes. 
It looks like he gets, like he looks like he gets, back, a, he looks like he gets assassinated. Yeah, yeah. 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 He gets Rocky Kennedy. Light. Yeah. Chunks of it blow off. I yeah. thought maybe Kennedy they were going to yeah. 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 you got to specify which one. They've all, a lot of them have died in fucked up ways. I mean, so. you could figure it out. The main one. The, movie. Yeah. the main Kennedy. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> the big one. You could be referring to a tragic ski accident. You could be referring to a plane know, crash. Did get, a, get shot through the back of the head in a tragic No, ski but they accident? hit a tree and died. Well, yeah, but this guy didn't hit a tree and died. I'm just saying. I know, but... So I was like sitting there going, how do you do that? Because it was a pretty effective, I thought. You give effect. him a lot more hair. Yeah. That but you can blow do you it think off. it was explosive or a wire? Like pulled it off? They pulled it off. <laughs> I hope I so. It could be. Because so otherwise I was sitting there it. going like, that's got to be dangerous as fuck. Yeah. I'll a wire. <laughs> yeah. And just yanked it out. <laughs> yeah. But they have a little smoke going with it, I think, yeah. which kind of helps sell it. it. Was, there was a good effect because it looks like it. <laughs> what yeah. if, they, what if yeah. it's a wire and they just put like a little firecracker underneath yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it goes... Or a little smoke bomb underneath it. It yeah. was a way to start a movie. It really was. Truly, yeah. yes. Truly was. Although yeah. we weren't really clear what happens because I know the crypt, mm. like the top slides off it, and there's a big green light and a smoke comes out of it. Oh, yeah. With the long talons. Yeah. Yep. So there's something in the Something's crypt, and then there. we just kind of abruptly and, cut away to. And yeah, and it's like Susan's like entranced. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cut to. 30 years later, 20 years, <laughs> no, later. 20 years later. 20 years later. Mm-hmm. It should be 20 Ish. years later-ish. 20 20 years. Ish. The we were, 30-year-old Bobby Bracey, yeah, who I'm pretty sure was at least 40 when she made this movie, yep. uh, is a socialite wife of Marjo Gortner, who yeah. is some mm-hmm. kind of... There's always contracts he's got to sign. There's always contracts. Yeah, he's, mm-hmm. he's yeah. just a very important man. But she also us. has money, though, because mm-hmm. they said when she comes of age, she'll inherit her mother's estate. Yeah, so I assume this house and everything is hers. It's clearly her mother's house that they're living in. Okay, so this is the wealthy uh spread of this couple it's awesome they have a tennis court and stables yeah and, and they have a pond balconies and help. yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's they right help, help. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. well uh imagine having staff guys imagine being rich enough to have staff we do. around your Igor. house <laughs> know, we, yeah we got igor we got yeah. staff he's massaging my feet I as mean, we speak i mean do you guys pay him <laughs> i mean yeah. we feed him yeah, yeah. yeah he lives. In room and board yeah but uh lawanda page is one of the oh, yeah. uh staff mm-hmm. and she was uh was it aunt elizabeth or something on uh sanford and son mm-hmm. gotcha. couldn't have, aunt elizabeth because wasn't elizabeth uh, his uh, sister wasn't it his sister elizabeth I, was his wife who died because he's always going, I'm coming to join you, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can so her sister. You guys have all watched more Sanford and Sons. I'm like, I fast. I've yeah. never actually watched yeah. Oh, yeah, he always, every time, he like, he's like, it's the big one. I'm going down. Red Fox would do it. And he's like, I'm coming to join you. He's always constantly coming to join Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, that's why it wasn't the rumor that like he was faking. Uh, or Because uh, he always faked like he was having right, a heart yeah, attack. Yeah. And then he died of a heart attack. He and, did, I believe, yes. Yeah. Did he really? Yeah, wow. So. Well, he shouldn't mm-hmm. have played around so much. Right. There was a crying wolf and whatnot. There was a Sanford army. Arms? Remember the sequel? No. He yeah, tempted the universe, the and the universe said, "Fine." <laughs> yeah, but uh, Loana Page, I guess, like was as when you look her up on Wikipedia, she's the Black Queen of Comedy. She had a bunch nice. of uh, yeah. I feel like albums. I've seen her on stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like was apparently a trendsetter mm-hmm. in uh, in comedy. Mm-hmm. And she's then, pretty funny uh, in this movie. Yeah, I know. She's got she's some like, moments. Motherfucker. <laughs> she's she is a, funny. There's some, there's some, there's some weird shit happening in this house. Happen in this house. Like, yeah. a, a smoke and green light is billowing out of a bedroom unnaturally. She's like, some weird shit going on here. Yeah. I was waiting for a white people joke. Yeah. Like, God, white people yeah. did some weird It would have been shit. appropriate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but she had, it felt like those were unscripted. Yeah. You know, she oh, was yeah, just definitely. going off yes. and she has like little comedy bits and stuff like that. And then accompanied by the appropriate comedy music. <laughs> yeah, she she got the sitcom. Music. She's the only one who got it. Yeah. It should have been weird. used at other scenes, like the maybe gardener's just, montage. Maybe music just changes the higher up in the house you've got. Yeah, well, like, like you're up here, no matter the, what. The weird thing about this movie is that the music is very sparse in this movie. The music yes. is weird. <laughs> There's a lot of. No music. So many sex scenes where you just hear birds in the background. Yeah, <laughs> twinning birds. There's montages with no music. Well, we were we were pretty convinced that the there's like two credit sequences. There's uh-huh. the main cast, and there's music, and then it kind of fades uh-huh. out. Then it starts over. It loops, so we can yeah, get the rest loops. of the cast. It was just yeah. very strange. They mm-hmm. couldn't. That was probably the only piece they had. Mm-hmm. It was like two oh, minutes yeah. long, and we're, we're going to use that during mm-hmm. the movie or not, because there was also the other uh, help is the gardener. I'm not sure who that actor was. I forget. He was like mm. billed as so and so as the gardener, and we're yes. like, ooh, big part ooh, for this yes. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a part. He gets some scenes, Truly, but he yeah, it's a mini movie. Yeah, he does. In he the really middle does. of the movie, <laughs> a day in the life of a gardener on an estate. I guess. Yeah, he takes Which, naps by the pool in the middle of the day. Right Sounds the like a pretty sweet job. It is. A, it is. He's sharpening an axe. He's. 
Eating lunch. Oh yeah, he's reading his little gardening book while yeah. he's eating, well, he's eating, eating a sandwich, sandwich on the swing. Yeah, yeah. It's taking a swing. nap. <laughs> it was something else. Yeah, I'm all without music and all like, why are yep. we following this character yeah, suddenly like, in the middle of the movie? It's like they exported this movie and forgot to unmute this track. Yes, it was supposed to be honest. It's just like what happened? Which I've done that before. And it's really sure, embarrassing. Like, that. Seems weird. We'll stick with it though. John Beekler talked about how a lot of this movie was made clearly by people who were not familiar with how movies are made no, and it was sorry. very yes. it was Bad. very you much like say. this is what we're doing today yeah. like day to day and you can tell like and you can tell because it feels like some of the stuff was made in the editing room mm-hmm. right some of these yeah. scenes are just like yeah we're gonna change this around a little mm-hmm. bit mm-hmm. well there is a later scene well we should yeah for, so okay so so she now 20 years later this mm-hmm. little girl has grown up yeah uh and uh um, yeah, her psychiatrist makes sure to let us know that she is now a beautiful grown woman right yes but that's key. But yeah. her, aunt, her aunt is concerned, mm-hmm. also key, that she's behaving just like her mother did before just she before died. she died. Yeah. And we're like, uh, how did her mother behave? You know, right. yeah. now that you've seen All we know is the mother's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And my first thought is, you know, mental illness. Yeah. Right, obviously, right, right. you know. Right. Of course. Psychiatrist, like tracks. Mm-hmm. It right. couldn't possibly be a demon. No. Why would you think that? Or is it, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> well, in scenes we didn't see, she went into the mausoleum and was possessed by a demon. Now, let me get this straight because I'm still so a little, I'm, years I'm still a little wonky dormant. on okay. this. Okay, yeah, let's talk. So uh, her last name, I believe, was like Waverly or something. Her mom's buried on like one end of the uh, graveyard. She is lured across the uh, the, the churchyard uh-huh. to the um, nomad. 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 Uh, yeah. Right. Which demon, demon. backwards? Yeah. backwards. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and so I felt dumb for not picking it up on that. <laughs> I, that's when I, I felt. I was mad at the this sign, movie when the when the one shot where the sign switches the demon. I was just like, oh. And I was like, got it. Yeah. It's just a weird sounding <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> Nomad. When yeah. you did the, and you're like, yeah. what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Oh, demon. Oh, I go with it. Uh, so the psychiatrist, I believe, at some point, it wasn't like zombie or something. <laughs> <just> like <laughs> ebombs of ebombs. <laughs> 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 Jonathan Ebamas. Yeah, we're like, huh? it should have been better. <laughs> but there is like a whole like mythology to I'm this, using that. right? That like this uh, nomad. Women, there's like a whole narration, right? Yes. The firstborn, of firstborn the, daughter of the nomad family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they can't go into the crypt, or like they will become possessed, and the only way to no one goes in the crypt. Remember, no one goes mm-hmm, in the crypt. Mm-hmm. Right. And the only way to vanquish the demon is to place the crown of thorns on its head or something. This is all yeah. told. Oh, like, yeah. She, yeah. When earlier on, she pricked her finger on the mm-hmm. crowns, which I think was what activated the whole thing. Yeah. I thought she pricked her finger on the webs. I was like misreading that. Oh, no. She, there was a. There, it was the crown. Yeah. <laughs> there was the crown. Of yeah, which okay, but this crown of the... thorns does not look like what you're imagining a crown of thorns. Um, mm-hmm. like it, somebody took a long turn. It's a do- it looks a like a dog turd. Yeah, it made into a circle. It's, yeah, or like a funnel cake without the middle. It's, yeah, it's yeah, real it's, it's real like lumpy. It's like yeah. someone molded it out of tootsie rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there you go. And no thorns. Yeah, yeah there was, there's like uh, knobs. It's, a, yeah, it's yeah, pretty smooth. Yeah. 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 Well, because they're eventually going to shove it down on some poor wretch's head. Yeah, Jesus had a more badass crown of thorns than this, though. Yeah. But what was uh, what's her connection? Shit. What was her connection to the the mortuary or the mausoleum? It that's called where, to her. Yeah, that's where it's her somebody, family. Where but is she nomad. the firstborn of the family, even though she's of a different family, and there's no talk of adoption or anything like that? It was like this isn't her family crib. Well, yeah, because it's her mom's family is nomads. Her yeah, her the nomads are on. Yeah, her yeah. dad's family is. The name on the mom's walker, grave. yeah. And so yeah. they Mausoleum get buried on the other side of the grave. Whatever. They yeah. don't have the nomad last name. They <laughs> yeah, don't she's, it. she's buried with her husband. Yeah, it's her married name over okay. there. Yeah, not the nomads. Okay. See, Colin, these are rules we're not privy to because we're not rich enough to have a mausoleum. So we don't <laughs> we don't know the etiquette of mausoleum yeah. culture. I think you need to bar- bury everybody in there, isn't that the whole thing? It's like I family. Thought so. I thought there was just something. big enough where you could just keep putting family members. You know, in. Yeah. I don't want that. Not if you like, just get stacked. I well, I'm just like, have I not spent enough time with you people? Like, and now I got to spend eternity next to you. Right, can I have yeah. some? Can, can I have my own space? Be like brought back to life. <laughs> Didn't the Draculas end up in a mausoleum? Like Mike Dracula, Fred Dracula. Yes. What Mike, was that? Uh, Zoltan. The Zoltan. Yeah. Dracula. yeah. Mike Dracula. Mike Dracula. <laughs> I love Mike Dracula. I gotta rewatch Zoltan. I'm <laughs> overdue so for good. that. <laughs> Fuck. It's Fred Edward Zoltan. Yeah. It's canon. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Dracula. <laughs> Mike Dracula, how are you doing? <laughs> uh, Jonathan Ibamaz. <Ibama's>. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. 
<laughs> so now, uh, now it's, it is uh, 20 years later, and yeah. so she begins exhibiting signs mm-hmm. of uh, demonic infestation mm-hmm. or possession, as yeah. it is commonly known. How does she begin manifesting? The first it? sign of demon possession, as we know, is green eyes. Your yeah. eyes I do not have green eyes. I wish. <laughs> glowing green Sean's eyes. Sean's looking at all Making of our sure. eyes very closely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Igor? Well, no. Did you look anything up about... Because some of these, I was like, how did they do that? Okay. So in the first like part of the movie, she is wearing contacts. And the contacts have like a little rod in them Ew. that ex- that exhibits that like glowing green oh. look. But... So she got eye cancer. I was just saying that yeah. cannot be good it, for you. The stuff it, that they put in, like the like glow sticks. Yeah, <gasps> like of. the reanimator. That stuff's toxic. It's, it's, <laughs> it's it's like in like a tube. It's in a tube, like <laughs> like but, a little vial but it's in, not her eye. in her eyes. It just goes into like the contact. It's in the contact, but the contacts actually made her lose her sight <gasps> for like three days. So that they ended up switching to digital, as we see later Yikes. in the movies. Well, pre yes, pre digital composites, composites, it's like composites the yes. animated or composites, rotoscope. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but they were contacts for the first half of the movie. Yeah, yeah but those, yeah. I mean, they look, they look good. good. I was yeah. like, how the fuck better. are they doing that? They look that? good. But you, you, could tell, cancer. you could tell she couldn't see shit when she had him in, though, because yeah. her she eyes are wide open and first, she's not looking at anything. Yeah. For, like, the first couple of weeks of filming, like, she couldn't yeah, see. Yeah, that's fucked well, this, up. Uh, that's because contacts back in the 80s were, like, fucking glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're full, like, sclera yeah. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um. So the couple doesn't have a happy... Well, they do. They have a happy... Uh, Blissful wedded life together, except uh, everywhere that uh, Susan goes, uh, some guy tries to manhandle her. They Truly, go, they go to the 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 steak place. That's also the disco place. Yeah, and mm-hmm. poor and, man's Michael McDonald tries to yeah blows off the girl he's with so he can go try and get a dance mm-hmm. with her. He's drunk. And so, what's wrong with her? Yeah, what's your problem while well, you're grabbing her and assaulting her? Is what yeah. Your problem is. yeah, yeah. But this thing, he's not Don't. the only guy who like can't like you yeah. know just beelines for her. Mm-hmm. Like, right, three yeah, guys. That becomes they are, like they are drawn to her. That's what's happening. But she gets movie. her revenge because she's possessed by a succubus. Is that what it is? She's like trying to lure him in. So Based on the press. I mean, I mean wa- watching this movie, I was like, I get what they're doing, but this isn't far off from what attractive women face on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. I was like, demon I or, no demon. Yeah. or even mm-hmm. like not. Traditionally attracted, just women, anyway, just, just women, women yeah. in general. Yeah. yeah, it's not far off. Mm-hmm. So this we've is all a, been in this yes. position. <laughs> so this is a uh, uh, well, I wasn't saying a cautionary tale, but I mean, so that's where I the, mean, be cautious. Yeah, it, I mean, and, unfortunately, well, yeah. Well, at least to see this is the thing about horror movies. This is started with like Tales from the Crypt. People mm-hmm. who behave outside the realm of uh, polite society, the supernatural comes and kind of balances the books. Mm-hmm. If only that were true. I was going to say, man, I wish. Well, it's yeah. Wish yeah, yeah, I mean, that were true. Yeah. That's, yeah. Why, that's why we have horror comics yeah. and horror movies. Yeah. yeah. But so, yeah, they're, they leave, they're leaving the club. He gets, uh, Oliver gets a call. His his contracts are contracts. in. His, his clients are in town. It's time to go. That's what business was in the 80s, just contracts. Yeah. yeah. Contracts in? Are we signing the contract? Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, I and then it. apparently everyone knows where to find you at all times. Yep. Yeah, they, see that? We were talking about being rich. Like, that's how rich I want to be, where you can just go to a restaurant and be like, there's a phone call for you. Well, now we have cell phones. Please bring the fancy phone. But yeah, back then you had to leave. Like I'm gonna be here, and that's the yep, number. Yep. I'm gonna leave it right, with your, yeah. your, your secretary. Yeah. Call the restaurant. Mm-hmm. They can call at the night because that poor woman has to work at night and take your messages. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the movie where we were watching something where I was like, man, I've never actually had to go to a hotel and go like, hey, is there any messages for me? Where you just yeah. leave messages? I, for I, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. We can start doing do that, that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we can, yeah, we, can, we came up with fake names for you. <laughs> we should yeah. make up like a like a checklist of movie things that we can actually accomplish like this and yeah, just do them good. all. The movie like bucket list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but go like ask for messages at a front desk. Yeah, but we'll make up code names for each other. So and you know we'll send codes back and forth through the hospital messages. Any sort of thing that we can actually accomplish. You know. Yeah. Fun. I want to feel like a hospital, secret agent. And I, I'm going to go to the hospital and be paged as a doctor. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> well, she puts the uh, whammo on this drunk uh, guy who... Uh, who gets behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like that... It's that was, the 80s. Yeah. I mean, that's what you did. You drove, you got drunk and you drove home. Yeah. You know. Uh, She's wild. Yeah. She blows him up. <laughs> yep. She, she cooks she him over. She starts a fire yeah. with her. And her, he can't get out for some reason. Well, she's locked. Did she the lock the doors? Is yes. that what we're I supposed to so. believe? Yeah. Okay. Her laser I mean, if she started yes. the fire, I believe she yeah. locked the door. Yeah. Laser, laser eyes. eyes. Yes. Yeah. Laser eyes. Yeah. I love it. Um, I love laser eyes. 
Mm-hmm. I know. That's like, you know, I mean, that's it. Right. They are. Well, we don't actually get laser. We get the sound effect. Yeah. yeah. Last week we got actual laser. They glow green. Yeah. And but it's so is green. that like actually the sound effect of laser eyes? Now that you're saying that, that is the sound we hear of like that's the demon manifesting itself like the whole way through this movie, right? It's like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's awesome. That's the demon mm-hmm. work, yes. The standard supernatural sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So. The next day, she's not connected to this, right? Just the guy, like, exploded. Yeah, and Marjo right. tried to save him and whatever. And then the next day, the gardener. That's mm-hmm. right. This uh, this and credit at the beginning of the movie begins his uh, epic sorry, journey his name, and to it. try and no, get no. laid by Susan. That's yes. basically what's happening because now he's a leering gardener. Yep. Yes. He's uh, pretty lecherous. It's gross. He has always got his shirt only one button. Yeah, real weird. Maurice Sherbiny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ben. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ben, ben the Gardner. Ben the Gardner. Ben the Gardner. Yeah. Ben, ben Gardner. <laughs> it's a Jaws joke for all of you out there. Uh, all right. <laughs> Good enough at erase yep. Colin's memory. There you go. Well, no, they, 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 yeah, that's clearly the why they. Yeah. Okay. So um, he. He's trying to get rid of a stump. Yeah, right. He's hacking a stump. More in the than he's trying to get rid of his stump. He's trying to get more, <laughs> rid of more than one stump. Yes. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's the worst way to put it. But okay. <laughs> so she's actually at some point, like you know, there's like, uh, they're like, no, you get out of here. My husband's not home. But then the demon takes over. I think it entrances her through a coffee this machine. Whole thing going up because he just like <laughs> he's knocking on the window and like mm-hmm. the creepiness that he's able to achieve in this moment. It's solid. Is yeah. it's I don't want to say good, but it's very like he, he pulls it off real well because yeah. it's just, uh, total creep. Because just the way he talks and looks at her, and then he gives her a little. As oh, he's yeah. Yeah. just the whole thing. That little, like, that little like, kiss at the end—it made uh, me want to throw up. Then I think was he was, I think he was touching his belly button. He was. Yeah, uh, yes. was his belly button. He was. Yeah, that's. I, that's a different level of horniness. I have a question for any rich people that might listen. How do you like go about hiring staff and avoiding hiring a man like this? Like, do you just do background checks yes. and hope for the best? Like, yes. but like that's someone in your home, you know? Like, you really gotta. Be on top of it, you yeah, know. That's, that's, that's why servants are passed down from <laughs> used to be passed down from generation to generation because yeah. you can trust them. Yeah, let's let's hear from our or rich you own listeners. them. I don't know. Yeah. I'm hoping we've got some. Yeah, let's you hear know, from our rich listeners. Also, yeah. if you have a staff, yeah. yeah. Also, like uh, fund us. Yeah, yeah. Right. agencies or something yeah. down there. But uh, so anyway, Ben the gardener. All right, so we uh, we may as well just talk about like because I need to figure out what yeah, the hell's no, going right, on let's here. Let's just get into this. At the end of the movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, there is a surprising reveal. Mm-hmm. Surprising because none of us saw it coming. I thought based on the flowers, I'm like, if it's him, I'm not going to understand why. And then <laughs> yeah. it was him. Yeah, because that's how I'm like, it, it shouldn't be him. I have a feeling no. it's going to be. Yeah, but there's a reveal because at the end, uh, it's repeated again um, from the uh, Simon, the psychiatrist. That uh, remember, no one goes in the mausoleum. No one goes in the yeah. mausoleum. Just well, he's talking to talking. after they've beat the after demon the at the thing. end of the yeah, movie. Yeah. yeah, there's a figure in a robe sitting on a, like, a gravestone. It's your job, like your father before you. No one goes in the mausoleum. Yeah, and then that is revealed to be Ben, ben the gardener, and we're like, "What the fuck?" Okay, so Ben the gardener in the movie proper, right, mm-hmm. is always seen leering, yep. looking mm-hmm. through the windows. Mm-hmm. So he's watching her, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's his job. Mm-hmm. Is that his job? I don't know. Well, see, that's what I first thought when the whole thing happened. Because he's, um, when we're first introduced to him, he's not creepy. He's just, he's kind of worried about her. He's like, is she okay? You know, as he's talking yeah. to Marjo Gordon. Right. He's literally door. just like, I'll be back next week, but is she okay? Like, right. Mm-hmm. Like, because mm-hmm. and you get the feeling that's like, all right, he's there to watch her because of the family and the demon and all that stuff. Like he was planted there by someone of a higher power to keep yeah. an eye on her. That's what I felt. His father and his father's father, right, which yeah. wasn't Jonathan Nomad. Correct? Mm. He is not a nomad. So now this is, yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going way off the deep end here because yeah. they're not going to be able to make this work. And then uh-huh. <laughs> he goes out and he spends his day, like, you know, hanging out and gardening. He's reading the book about how to garden. Yes. It feels like it. Yeah. Just like, how do you plant, what? how to plant flowers? <laughs> yeah. Is basically Honestly, what he should have That was read. a nice touch. Yeah. yeah. I know. I liked it. Again, liked it's that. a great part of, because it would have been a great, and with the montage music, it would have been a great, like, little joke part. It's yeah. just like, da na na na. And then he opens up a book, How to Garden. It's just like, wow. Well, okay. Well, he's eating sandwich on the swing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I he's like that. really looking into I it. Actually, it they did, it. that shot came after he tries to open a bag of topsoil and dump it out. And it's mm-hmm. like, clearly, this actor doesn't know what he's doing. He just like dips his hand and just like sprinkles. 
yeah. ankles. Yeah. It's, then he's reading the book because yeah, he doesn't maybe, know. Maybe it wasn't an actor's choice. Maybe this is actually a thing because he's maybe the he eternal watcher. Yeah. Okay. So That's then explain thought, yeah. to me why. Uh, so then she gets naked in front of him. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. She gets naked a lot in this. Why movie. the lecture? I don't know if we're, we're saying like that's yeah. a, also a big draw to this movie is the amount of Bobby Breesy nudity, yes. mm-hmm. but she lures him in with the promise of sex to the to her bedroom. Actually, the shed. I don't even know what happened there. What there was the scene where she was on the veranda, yeah, like, giving yes. him the mm-hmm. coy eye, yeah, and then it fades out, mm-hmm. and then it fades up, and they've like had coffee, and there's this whole flirtatious thing yeah. about you left your coffee cup, you know, where he's like in the bedroom, and she's like, no, in the shed, and we're like, what the fuck, yeah. and they go off to the shed to fuck, and you're like. Did they or did they not no. have sex no. earlier? No. no, they didn't. Okay, so they're Can't doing imagine. it. Why the shed? The shed is the first time. Yeah. Because oh, okay. she can murder him there and not have anything that Marjo Gortner, Gortner is going to find. <laughs> they got, there's a tennis court and a stable and there's all kinds of like, I imagine there's a pool house and sure. gardener's quarters probably or something, because right? that's where the hoe is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> and you made the garden tool, yes. Oh, the demon yes. hoe. Yeah, she's about to use that, that hoe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Use is that how? Is this the first time we see her like? Physically... Use that comma, ho. Use that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this Go the first ho. time we see her like physically transform into the, the creature? Um. Yes. And she this stabs the, his yeah. face to death with a hoe. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. First, she, first claws. she like rakes his, her claws down. His, oh yeah. yeah. Down his and he's face. bleeding, which is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And then she takes the hoe to his face. That was after sex when they were cuddling yeah, in a burlap post. sack. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is where we get. <laughs> she's, she's like, I never sleep. <laughs> yeah. As it's just a still photo with her green eyes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cuddling yeah. in burlap. In Ew. burlap. <laughs> yeah. That's the itchy. Is there a shit. more uncomfortable fabric? Can't like, be. Yeah. No. no. Burlap. That's, that's that. That's it. Kind of rough. We're gonna go at it again, baby. Rough. And then she kills him, and we go. Okay, so you're really terrible at your job as a watcher. Yeah. <sighs> See, this is what I don't understand. Yep. Mm-mm. Okay. There's nothing there. I got nothing on this one. No. So I'm like, I don't he's, get it. He's not actually the watcher. He's the insurer of the curse. Okay. He's the one to make sure that they do make contact with the demon to keep the curse going. So why do they, the other guy trust him? Because they think he's the watcher. But wouldn't they have figured this out? That's oh, because point. right, we're saying he is the shadow on yeah, the he's wall. The shadow. Yes. Yeah, he's the shadow. Yes. He's the demon. He's the, like the spirit of the manifestation of the demon. Now, see, I but agree they think, with this, they but think why he's they the think watcher. That? Wait, a minute, what? Why do they think he's the watcher? Who the fuck knows? It's a curse. I don't know. <laughs> I wanted more explanation. Okay, fine. Do the writers know the answer I to don't. this question? It doesn't feel like they do. No. Yeah. No. Okay. So it's all a trick. We're setting up a rinse and repeat sequence here of yeah. her uh, sexiness, now mm-hmm. demon fueled, luring men to the house. Demon fueled. So she mm-hmm. can uh, kill them. For what purpose? I don't know. Demon just likes killing dudes. Yeah, it's a demon. A, it's a demon. It's That's a just demon. what they do. Mm-hmm. If they get the opportunity. Although yeah. I think the next victim may be Aunt Cora, oh, who comes yeah, over Cora. with contracts. <laughs> yep, <laughs> she's got contracts. Did there, you expect there to be files in this? I, oh, no, there, there was, was no files. They, 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 I mean, there was a, a binder was a file. that had that a <laughs> yeah. file that yeah. had paperwork in it. Not not as great. But. There is like a subtext going through this movie that I know it shares with like a bunch of other eighties movies that like the guy in the house always has to go to the office mm-hmm. and can never deal with the problems in his with his wife or his right. family. Mm-hmm. He's always got to go to the office. And I was promising go, that vacation. Yep. We'll get away, honey. We'll go relax. <laughs> I promise. We'll do that thing I promised I'd do three months ago. Yeah. And- I don't think that's a very veiled yeah. scenario. Even Aunt Cora arrives with the documents, but uh, that offends the demon somehow. Yeah. I don't know. She got she lifted. before. She got, this is where we're first, our first, uh, uh, Part of levitation, yeah. The first example of levitation that uh, and Cora gets lifted up out of her shoes, which is uh, fun. Uh, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the way this is all cut, it's all very funny, it is just very because funny. you know we cut to her out of her shoes, but then we cut to her, she's like over yeah. the she's, she's gone over, over the, the railing, foyer, she's yeah. hanging in the midair, and then she starts to just like bleed from a, a slash yeah. mark down she the side starts of her. To, like, Rip in half, right? To yeah. separate from the shoulder. Not enough, though, as we said during yeah. the movie. Like it felt like there was a part where she was should have gone. Quack. There is a reason for that. It is because at Money. this point, no, at this point, John Beekler was offset working on another project, and his assistant Christopher Biggs did this scene. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that was like and I thought. Like, that was a great effect, though. You see, like, it was. The ribs it was. Pop no, out, it was good. like, oh. 
Shit. No, I was because yeah. we wanted more. Yeah, yeah. we thought was she good. was yeah, gonna go all the way and no, split yeah. in half. No, but... Biggs went on to be his assistant like for a lot of his mm. movies. Oh, okay. But, but at this yeah. time he's like, I don't know how to split a woman in half. Yeah. Yeah. He did what he could and I thought he did pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. We again we wanted more. But she gets uh torn apart mm-hmm. and she's gone. Paperwork falls all over the place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So goodbye, Aunt Cora. And Elsie, the housekeeper, is the only person with any kind of, you know, sane enough any to kind of get out of there. And she's like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. I got religious issues. Right? <laughs> yeah, she, she can't before, stay. She had to take a couple of shots she of J&B. She literally says, it's spiritual. <laughs> yeah. She's some J&B. She's like, I'm not, I, gotta, I gotta have some of the good shit. Smartest yeah. character in this movie. Truly. Yeah. She takes really a couple drinks and gets the fuck out. Well, mm-hmm. she the looks second, in the room. The second yeah. most smartest was, like, Marjo Gortner had that, that one moment. But <laughs> unfortunately, because he's married to her, he's got to stick her. Or fortunately, right. he's got to defend right. his wife. But there was that he moment. Came, right. He came home. They got, he's like, I've never seen you this way. And she's and, like, I've never felt this way. Right. And they yeah. get sexy time. And then, like, he wakes up. Yeah. They go to bed. Yeah. He wakes up. He wakes up. And she's oh, my God. Just, this, she's in the rocking chair. She's this like, is, this actually, might be my favorite this this scene. So great. Great. But it, it might actually be like, <laughs> it's kind of a truly terrifying moment before it turns funny. Because, yeah. Because yeah. it's just quiet. And her she's rocking, just rocking the chair, and you with her know, demon face, right? Yeah, and she's, she's like got the demon face, and you yeah. wouldn't yeah. know that that's what she would be at that moment. But she like, was regular before, demon yeah. face, but still in like the negligee. Right. Yeah. So like from the neck down, still normal. And if you just saw that, you'd yeah. be like, <laughs> and and Marjo Gortner saw it, and so we see him getting out of bed, and she, we cut back to her, and then she, she turns. slowly turns to look at him, but he's already like halfway out the door of the bed. He just like sneaks he's out. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, like, nope. Not asking, honey, what's wrong? He's no. just like, holy fuck! And he's I out. thought he was gonna like sneak up and smother her or something, right? Like that's where I thought this was going. Uh, well, but, like, happening, but he is yeah. gone. I, none of us could have predicted. He just would have snuck right out of the room. No, that was uh, uh, amazing. Yeah. There's some great cut twos from Marjo Gortner. Yeah, because yeah. then doesn't he? He goes he and calls, the phone, he calls the, the psychiatrist. The, yeah, he's yeah. like, I need you to come over right now. How's yeah. tomorrow at two? <laughs> Which is like, this is the medical system on That's display. Yeah, exactly how it works. I can fit you in tomorrow too. It's an emergency. Yeah. I'm literally. Dying. What about a one? I can do two o'clock. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. He's well, like, he should have led with her eyes were glowing. Green, yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah. there are certain things. Yeah, she I has, couldn't believe what I was seeing. She has you a have demon face. Yeah. Like, dude, tell the doctor she has a demon face. Yeah. Tell it. Doctor's yeah. like, well, we all need sleep. We need right, <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, you just, you glanced at her and she didn't have makeup on. You're fine. Go to back to bed. She does keep her appointment. Yes, um, she does. She truly does. The, the doctor. She's like, I'm fine, but if you want me to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and so she goes. And of course he hypnotizes her as you do in as these do. kind of situations. I want to be hypnotized. I don't think it's. I think, it's, I think it's. I'll say it. I'll say it. I think it's bunk science, and I don't think. I, I think. Did, it, I, I did yeah. one of those things once where they bring up people from the yeah. crowd and yeah. they try and hypnotize. This you is in Vegas. They, no, no, it was that it was a Wisconsin uh, I went to School. Um, somebody's college. I went to visit a friend at college. Uh-huh. And it was on the weekend, and they were doing yeah. this whole thing and everything, and they sent me back. Because I couldn't, they couldn't do they it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> that, was of, that was one of the people in the crowd. They're just, they tap me and they're just like, "Yeah, go sit down." I'm just like, what? "All right." I'm like, "I wanted to be hypnotized. Why couldn't you do it, mm. Dick?" Mm. Wow. So wow, wow, you ruined their yeah. like charade. Huh? Them, there were still like four people. I love who this. were apparently hypnotized, but Sean, you should have this. This was your opportunity to be like I wasn't smart uh, enough back a myth buster for magic <laughs> tricks, right? Back then. You could have had your own show to be I like, wasn't you know, smart what? enough to be nefarious. Yeah. With it and trying yeah. to be like, I'm gonna bring this whole fucking thing down. Yes. You will never do this at another college again, Dude. sir. Well, there's got to be somebody out there who can entertain you on this, though. I know. I want. I want to. I want to see you do it. Hypnotize me. Oh, yeah. do I, I would. Yeah. Learn if you find, it if you find, do it. Okay. Yeah. Do you do think it. it works over like Zoom? Can you be hypnotized? I, I like, hope on not. A this, God forbid, Zoom, the Wi-Fi gets shitty and you're stuck in a trance. <laughs> <laughs> the, like right, that's the modern day thing. Just like we're gonna try a, a little hypnotize. That's Sean. Write this movie. Uh, just that's like the Zoom movie. goes out and you're <laughs> fucked. All right, write that. Yeah, it's write out. that down. That's office space. I mean, technically, it is. Like, yeah, he is, he is problems. hypnotized. Yeah, what he's, yeah. to the he's hypnotized, and the psychiatrist has a heart attack. Right, he, has and a he heart never attack. comes it's out of it. That's that, office space. You're just stuck in it. Yeah. Oh. Oy. Anyway, hypnotize me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. If you find it, I'm. Yeah, uh, I'll I come. I'd like. I want to try it for someone to try it. I want to try it. What happens when she gets hypnotized? Yeah. In body, out of body experience. So she becomes like little Susan. Like she yep. is all of a sudden young Susan and she's like, mommy, mommy. And then she transforms to. And she's like, mommy. Rah. Yeah. She gets the green eyes and the. Green eyes. She's got good lips for this. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she's she able gets, to. like the demon teeth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I thought she was like really good in this. Yeah, I she think so great. too. She's <laughs> good. Yeah, like, she was great. Because she has to freak out a little bit yeah. while she's under hypnosis. And I'm just like, that's. 
She's doing it. She's right fantastic. Yeah, yeah, she's good in this movie. And she's under all that makeup, mm-hmm. and you yep. know, like I don't know. There was just a lot. She's, she's yeah, doing and she's a got lot, good yeah. eyes, when, even when they're not green. Yeah. As far as like those like very piercing. light yeah. blue, yeah, yeah where you're just like, yeah. I don't like looking. At they're like, it's like it's like pretty, but it's creepy. Transfixing. Yeah. It's like yeah. they don't blink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So she goes. Never forward. really went on for much bigger. Like stardom, though. I mean, not really. I think it was just the time, maybe. Who yeah. Knows? yeah. But um, she has a full demon reaction right there in mm-hmm. front of the psychiatrist. Yeah, and he has he records it and then plays it for his psychiatrist friend. Right, without mentioning the green eyes. Was that a psychiatrist? Yeah, it was. But who's into like studying the occult or something mm-hmm. like that? More he so. He has yes. an ad libbed. It feels like phone call. Where yeah yeah a full on it's I mean it's good like he's talking to someone it feels like, like how right. are you if it's even how if are you how's right. the tour it's like you just witnessed a demon why yeah. are you having a small talk right it does there's a lot of lead up to it. it's like no no different patient it's, it's a woman it's, there's no way I'm there's no way I'm, I'm doing that next week <laughs> at about five o'clock <laughs> listen I have a demon but he's but he's he's doing a thing where he's it's like he's building up getting ready to talk when the other person stops talking i'm yeah. very curious if he was talking to anyone or if he was just I doing think he it was just doing it well if he did he's he done did it great. very well he did great because he was preparing yeah. to talk for someone else to be done yeah. it was it was pretty good yeah and we get to see the whole thing in one unbroken like two minute take <laughs> yeah. too yeah, truly um so the doctor then simon is uh he's doing the research mm-hmm. he finds out that there's this family curse he finds mm-hmm. out that you got to go to the graveyard and get in the the uh, uh other okay. occult yeah. scientist is telling him well of thorns. it's got to be you you have to do it i'm not helping you with this you you have to do it on no, your own she's like she's like you're too close to it you can't do it and he's like i am too close to it which is why i have to do yes. it mm-hmm Oh, okay. I thought I remember her no, no. saying like, okay. So he's off to the graveyard to go secure this crown of thorns that's been used as like the uh, the the like, like the padlock. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it blows open at the beginning. Yeah. Of the really, yeah, it is the padlock. Yeah, it's the four leaf clover keeping the leprechaun. Of the <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Meanwhile, I think we have at least one more wander into the movie male victim who is uh, arriving to oh, deliver yeah. flowers. Oh, yeah. Gardener number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is He's the porn scene. <laughs> yeah, delivering the tree. <laughs> Somebody ordered a bush. Yeah, <laughs> Which is, yeah, that's the better joke. It's like, yeah, where do you want this bush? I can trim it down before before I go, I I go if you, you need it. Yeah, I got, I some, got some wood. Got for some you. wood? Yeah. I think it's a delivery of wood. Let me check my paperwork. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's not like an actual port city, but it's no. written it on the love. Like but it's wine. one yeah. slight left turn from being yeah. exactly that. You can use the yeah. phone in my kitchen. She opens her on her sexy negligee. Yeah. You yep. have the wrong house. No, it's the it's the right house. Right. Yeah. For a minute there, the way she worked, it was just like the boobs had to be out for the demon power to work. Yeah, because she's like, well. I mean, like, yeah. No, like, like, okay, like, yes, later on, like, yes. Yeah. I, I, I think we find out why. Yeah. Well, she kills him in the Women. kitchen. I think she melts him. He starts bleeding from the ear, and then he melts. Oh, yeah. Him. His eye falls out. Yeah. 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 Into his hand. Into his yeah. hand. Yeah. 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 But then mm-hmm. uh, Marjo Gortner and her have a series of scenes that are just the most bizarre thing. She goes to a mall. She it's like buys scenes from a, a marriage. A what the painting. fuck is this? Right. Yeah. No, she doesn't buy a painting. She's, she steals a painting. Yeah, yeah which it's, is it looks like a Salvador Dali type painting, it looks, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, but like a velvet Salvador yeah, Dali painting. Yes, yeah, not as highbrow, but right. still yeah. as bizarre. I have yeah. to have this, you know. It's not mine. Yeah. Says, <laughs> the, the art dealer. The it's art already dealer. been sold. I don't care. I, I need it. Yeah. Something that's not mine. Hey, right. lady. She, she floats him up. And then what happened to him? Oh, she gets, falls under the. There's a, yeah. There's a. There's the best. spires on a table downstairs. <laughs> they're art spires. <laughs> yes, they're art spires. So art she spires, levitates yeah. him over the in front of the entire mall. By the who way, we're all watching. We're all watching the movie being filmed as we saw during yes. this because they it's, cannot not look. No. It's like it's everyone fantastic. in the background is like staring directly at the camera. railways to watch this movie be filmed it's like oh mm-hmm. but she <laughs> levitates him in front of many people yeah uh mm-hmm. well, yeah where's the rest of this movie where yeah. all these people at the mall are like holy shit did you see that lady right. just you, mind throw that guy the mall, honey <laughs> <laughs> well well yeah. i'll tell you about it i got an orange julius yeah and then <laughs> and i saw a man, man fall to his death it was impaled on a on a spire and my art spire is not coming home so yeah. long story short honey uh, uh, it's a piece of evidence right. now so but what if that was like an art spire like it was a high school art show that was going on? yeah oh, oh you see just a bunch of kids going ah Running away, but that then would some be great. Comes over and goes, mm, yes. Like now it. it's perfect. It's per- yes, this is art. Someone yeah. comes, just puts a blue ribbon on his, on his corpse. <laughs> there you go. That's the cutting class joke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mm, second place. They, they think it's performance art. Yeah. Second, oh my God. second yes. place. 
A bit too much for me. <laughs> a bit gaudy. See, Second we, place. We could write an art horror movie, no problem. I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> but he gets uh, levitated and dropped over onto the spires, and so he's gone. I pitched uh, it to my pottery class that we should do like a horror movie at a pottery studio. Yeah. They were all for it. Dude, oh, like yeah. the yeah. art movie we just came up with is better than Velvet Buzzsaw. So, you know, <laughs> like true. Yeah. Killer Killer Kiln? Yeah, there killer you go. Kiln. Oh my god, killer yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling Kai tomorrow. The Kiln Killer or something like yeah. that? What would the tagline then be? Kill or be kilned? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 Bravo. Love oh it. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, telling right. Right. <laughs> I'm telling Kai. Copyright all of this. Yeah, this is amazing. Saturday Night Freak Show. This he's is wonderful. We haven't had one of those this. in a while. Yeah. yeah. He's going to love this. Killed. Beautiful. Well, there's, uh, there's a couple scenes in the movie that are like, mm. so she brings this stolen portrait home. Right. Uh, Marjo Gordon is like, what the hell? You know, you're not acting like <laughs> he's yourself. He's really upset by this painting. <laughs> really upset. It's like, what is this? And But he's not mad about anything else at this point. It really is just the painting. He doesn't destroy it. He like just sets, sets it on the man like he's mad. And yeah. then, like, fine. If you want to keep it, we'll keep it. <laughs> yeah. That's followed by a scene in which uh, he confronts her in the, uh, the 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 kitchen. Right. And uh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. She just like drinking coffee. Flips out. Yeah, because I think he she, drops a bowl. She's like, "Why are you doing? I'll fight. I'll break these." And she yeah. starts smashing. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, and that's the end of that one. And then the next scene, and it's sexy. She's in the bath, <laughs> and she's like, "I'm sorry, baby. You know, I didn't mean to." Or no, no, there was an, a dubbed line where you said, "Like, I'm sorry about your painting, baby. I'm not really that mad." And you're like, "What the fuck?" And then, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Then yeah. she's in the tub naked, and yeah. he comes in, and they start kissing, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, surprise! Well, the well, surprise. Oh, this is happening at the same time that Simon, the psychiatrist, is going to the mausoleum to oh, get yeah. the crown of thorns. Mm-hmm. So it's cross cutting mm-hmm. here. Yeah. So when he gets in there, and then she starts transforming as they're hugging and making out and this is where we get demon tits mm-hmm. that eat don't undersell chest. it yeah like, they- let's let's oh, we <laughs> oh need to break God, this yes. down she's in this is full-fledged rubber costume yes. demon this and is the demon. there are a demon there's a demon face in place of each boob mm-hmm. and they're actually like moving Rah, and chomping. they have little mouths Rah, yeah they have little mouths demon faces and they, they tits. The, her nipples bite his chest open yes yes Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, say, say it again. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm and put, put some wow. respect on what you know, happened. Yeah. Say it again. I was and Her I was demon waiting all eat his chest. Yes. Yeah. I was waiting all movie for the 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 demon titties I read about. So I was like, when are they gonna show up? You know, because every time she went to slightly open her negligee, I was like, like, oh, like, this is it. This is it. And then it never happened. I so. love that that was a fake out for you. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, because I uh, when I didn't know what to think when I heard demon titties, I just assumed like I don't know, like that like she would hypnotize them with her boobs or something, right? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh no, they are like individual little yeah. demons. Demon yes. titties. Yeah. yeah. They have little alien mouths. They have thoughts yeah. and lives of their yeah. own probably yeah. experiences they have names, yes. memories yeah. resumes but no wonder why she's always adjusting they her neckline they got to go to when yeah. they're not hanging out on her right. chest no wonder why she's always like adjusting like punching in for work with suitcases uh. and <laughs> somewhere where Beetlejuice and, and, yeah. And, yeah. and Juno the caseworker are yes. hanging out and they have two different jobs yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of them does like freelance <laughs> yeah. one of them has a better job than the other one and yeah. they, always, they always fight about it and it's just like alright at least on her chest we're equals yeah I imagine that dynamic <laughs> the female version of Igor is like this, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, Igor yeah. loves this movie. Yeah, yeah. she. Yeah. This is like Playboy for him, right? Basically, like, yeah. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Yes. Colin's not sure about that. <laughs> I remember some other movie was a gothic had a woman with like eyeballs for nipples or something. Mm. Oh, like that. that's weird. That? I don't know. That I don't, a, but um, did she say, "Oh, you poke me in my eye"? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Every time oh, someone oh, touched her boob. Um, Stop licking my does eyeball. She, does yeah. she see out of them? Though? Yeah, I can't remember. Oh my god, it'd be like the pale man <laughs> from uh, that yeah, that Del Toro movie, eyes, but yeah, instead of the hands, it's on nipples. I was thinking more like ah, real monsters for oh, that all the crumb, yeah, yeah. She just got her pointer boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Can't see you. We should incor- boobs should be incorporated like in this way in horror movies. Like, <laughs> Continue. You no, know, I mean like I mean there's lots of boobs in horror movies, but like yes. take it to the next level. Like right. use know, them. Yeah. Killer boob. With it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's like no it. killer yeah. boob movie. Is there? There's Does it just come off there. and go on? Jim Minorsky movie. Yeah. Does it get longer and stretch around and Gross. strangle people? Like uh, there's got to be. Some- <laughs> I feel like in Frankenhooker there was something with the boob, right? There had to have been because there was that box of body parts. Yeah. 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 I don't remember them killing people but so the end of this acid, like I feel acid? Like that would happen the, the missiles boys. well but remember when the bodies exploded 
in Frankenhooker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like some had to shoot out of some boobs Maybe. in that scene. Because yeah. I remember, yeah, it was like they had taken some kind of drug that made them blow up. Yeah. I remember, the, I remember his mannequins literally of, exploding. Yeah. I got to rewatch it. Sean, you need to watch Frankenhooker. I know, I know. Has there ever been like acid milk that shoots out of a boob? Ooh, that would be cool. See, the yeah. weaponry. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. feel like this would be something on the boys. Yeah, the yeah. boys would for sure do something uh, yes, like this. Yep. Yes, yes. Yeah. Seems like it's been out there, but yeah, yep. yeah. that one. But uh so we bring it back. Uh, the doctor, looking mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. like uh Sam Loomis from Halloween, yeah. <laughs> arrives in his uh you know overcoat to confront the demon in the upstairs attic, much like who, him, who's, the uh, yeah. but who who just before had been like Slinking around the house very quietly, walking. Up oh yeah, the demon. Steps. Yeah, the her demon. in the full. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, just tiptoeing, just funny. tiptoeing around the house. And we're like, shot through angles through the staircase and everything. It's very funny. And a lot of this movie takes place in the daytime. I don't know if we've said that <laughs> enough, true, but yeah. like a lot of the demon walking around is like mid afternoon in this beautiful had, 80s mansion. Yes. Full thunderstorm for the end. Yeah. The yeah. Lightning. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. There was, and there was that, that rainstorm at the beginning that oh, was clearly yeah. a hose over a the hose, camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, we end up in the attic, which is completely covered by cobwebs where she's been cocooning her victims. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm don't just going to throw that out there because yep. I don't un- know how to maybe. explain it. Yep. Uh, he comes in and uh, like, I'm going to do what your father died trying to do. He just kind of taps him, puts a crown of thorns on her head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sean, your idea I thought was way cooler. You said there was going to be a sweet game of ring toss I happening. I thought so. Yeah. Like, Slow motion, like a- him jumping through <laughs> spider webs. To, yeah. Well, nope. I thought with like the balcony or something, yeah. something would happen with all these balconies or he'd right. throw it up or throw it down or something. Or like, yeah. or like the demon screaming up yeah. behind someone about to kill someone yeah. and he accidentally drops it and lands on her head. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. 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 But yeah. No. That- yeah. No, nothing that. No, nothing that's cool. that cool. Although we do get like a five minute transformation sequence, uh, dissolve to the demon. They separate. It went on forever, mm-hmm. right? And then uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, it went go- on forever. It goes on forever. Yeah, forever. just so an the- overlay of video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The you demon. Should, he gets- you should see the special features when John Bueller's talking. John Bueller's talking about that. Bico's like, yeah, it goes on for. A really long time. Yeah. It felt like a really long it did, time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just like, okay, we get it. And if it was if it was doing something, I wouldn't mind. But it was just right. You know, it was right. showing off the effect or like, come on. padding time to make an eighty-five minute runtime. I or think so because he walked around that house for a long time yeah. before right. he met up with her. But the demon is then sent back to the crypt mm-hmm. where it is entombed again. Mm. Uh, she is now free of the possession. Doesn't remember anything that happened. Doesn't know where her husband is. Right. Nope. Big surprise later. She has to put the demon back though. Yeah. So he, yeah, so Loomis has to take her to the crypt, even though she's free of the demon. She has to, t- he has to take her to put it back. It's yes. very tearful, and I'm like, "What's it's happening?" She's like, very sad that she's putting the demon back. Little girl, she turns back into a little girl. And she's crying, and puts the thing back. She's in the going car. through a lot at this point. She's feeling a lot. She was just demon possessed. Yeah, yeah, man. And she's like, "I knew you so well, and we were such good partners, and now I have to lay you to rest again." Mm-hmm. And then, uh, then the surprising reveal of, uh, no, yeah. So she's going to jail. Yeah, she's okay. like, where's the, where's Oliver? And he's like, we have a lot to talk about. I was like, yeah, you're going to yeah. prison. Soon, it's, I'll tell you soon. Yeah. 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 In jail. You've killed yeah, people. Probably. Yeah. And then the surprise reveal of Ben the Gardener sitting outside mm-hmm, mm-hmm. laughing okay. at us. Yeah, it makes mm-hmm. more sense that they would think. Because yeah. he, they think he is like the watcher of the mausoleum, <laughs> right, he's but he's like, actually. Sure. And then he's yeah. like, ha, 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 He's actually the one. <laughs> <laughs> His laugh at the end is... It, you could tell he thought they were going to cut, and they didn't. He's like, yeah. I didn't know this was going to happen either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are. Right. Yeah. It's like, who knew? Yeah. I did take it as he was laughing at us for watching the movie. But I yeah. could be wrong. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> right back where we started. Right, yeah, that is Dr. Evil, yeah. You know, yeah. if this gentleman's still alive, do a, do a convention so I can get this 8 by 10 signed of yeah, you yeah. cackling I'll, like, into the camera. Blu-ray sign. Who's, yeah. it sound by? Who's it signed by? The Gardner. The Gardner, yes. The Gardner. Ben. The <laughs> from Mausoleum. <laughs> wow. What a movie. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're going to tell you whether or not we would recommend that you watch it. We're going to review it individually. We're going to go around the table. But first of all, we're going to tell you how you can participate on this interactive portion of our show by uh, summoning our mailman. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. 
Igor brought his demon titties today. <laughs> feeling feeling he, special. He's today, definitely Igor? got like a centerfold of the demon in this movie. Oh, right? yeah. 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 Can, you imagine, yeah. oh, can you imagine a demon centerfold? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can see it. <laughs> well, should we? It's like, what, like, what am I looking at? It's like at? the duck centerfold. Yeah. From from Howard, the Howard the Duck. The duck. Yeah, that was. That. It, it's yeah. like Sill from Species. Is yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Actually, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. lasso. Yeah. yeah, nipple lassos. Yeah, that's right. Species was a good time. Yeah. Well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can uh, follow along on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On X. Uh, at Sad Freak Show. By email. <laughs> Saturday Freak Show Yahoo.com. I'm, I'm glad my kid didn't come down here for this conversation. <laughs> uh, uh, Instagram. He'd learn a lot today. Or Instagram or threads. Saturday Night Freak Show. Uh, threads. Uh, about tonight's movie mausoleum, Jeff Miller writes in and says, uh, first time watched today on Friday the 13th. I couldn't help Ooh, but go. think of Friday the 13th part five when old Ben was chopping away at that stump <laughs> that you would usually chop wood on. Think, yeah. Really, really, like really out of line. Yeah. Was, that's why I didn't understand what he was trying to move it. I'm like, no, this is the perfect stump for chopping wood. Yeah. yeah leave it. And he's like, just hacking yeah. away at it. I'll mm -hmm. get that stump out today. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Jeff says it seems Elise, that's LaWanda Page's character, also paid homage to her old co-star Whitman Mayo, Grady from Sanford and Son, mm. with the googly moogly line. <laughs> yes, yeah. the googly. Yeah. I forgot about the googly moogly line. You're right. And uh, he calls it a decent little succubus-like film. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, I've, I've have, I have several times tried to watch this movie on YouTube, there is a version of it presented by Commander USA, the old uh, horror host from USA Network in the 80s. Oh. Unfortunately, it's been the last thing I do at night, and I always end up falling asleep. Understandable. From what I've seen, Marjo Gortner does some really good face work in this movie. He's got good, he does good face. He, he gives does. good face. Yeah. That's very true. He yeah. works that thing, especially during his uh, close, like, yeah, yeah. His death scene there. Like, wow. Yeah, he goes for it. Uh, Ragtime Ray. I don't know if I'm saying that. Ragtime Ray? I just watched this last weekend. It's pretty bad, but fun. It's scripted like porn. There's a memorable gardening montage, and it has some terrible <laughs> disco dancing. The end is what the fuck, but it doesn't matter. Oh, and I believe this was funded by the mob. <laughs> yeah, that's a great things, uh, summary that of this movie. Yeah. Uh, Bashaw Foolery says, watching. <laughs> Bashaw. Bashaw. Is, it, is, this Bashaw. Like, is this like Sean's? It's like Bashaw. Bashaw. Well, it's either Bashaw Foolery or Bashaw Foolery. <laughs> Watching this right now, and I gotta say, it's 80s as hell. It's got a lot of disco clothing, a little soap opera acting, the lady from Sanford and Son, <laughs> and comfortable lapses in dialogue, and best of all, random, unexpected nudity. Yes. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Random, unexpected nudity. Run. Ooh, a lot of run in this movie. A lot movie. of run in this Love movie. It. Uh, last week, we watched a movie called Hack O' Lantern, and Miller yeah, Time writes in and says, This. Is a hard pass. I can't get this ninety minutes back, Sean. What the fuck did you? Where the fuck did you Wait, find this? This shitter piece. Shitter Laugh piece. I thought loud. I love you. Are much luck you are. <laughs> Who is that? Millitime. Millitime. Uh, okay. I mean, you know, again, great title. Gregory Scott great Cummins. Title. That's the answer. Yeah. Great title and Gregory yeah. Scott Cummins. Sean, yeah. Sean just anointed all three of us. By the way, I, I did. I did. I did. Yes, did. You've all. You are yeah. now all oh, in the service in of the, Satan. Yeah. In the hack of land. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, the week before, we watched a movie called House of a Thousand Corpses. Aaron Don Gilmer says, Tom Towles, who was in that, was also great in The Pit and the Pendulum. Mm. That's the mm -hmm. Stuart Gordon one. Yeah. Jacob Laws says he was also the head of the Aryan Brotherhood in Blood In and Blood Out, and he also oh, played geez. a neo-Nazi in the Miami Vice movie. Okay, okay. that's okay, but that, that sentence I thought was going to end sooner. Like, <laughs> he, he was in the Aryan Brotherhood. End of oh, sentence. No, and I was like, oh, God. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. 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 And then we said, in. I was like, oh, thank oh, God, in a movie. Okay. Well, yeah. apparently that it's role. It's an unfortunate typecast. Yeah. Yeah. That role must be kind of famous because Adam writes in and says, Tom Towles, who was in Blood In and Blood Out with Danny Trejo, <laughs> yep. who was in The Devil's Rejects. Yeah. And brought it all back around nice. to Rob just, Zombie. Just Adam? Like the Adam? Just Adam. Mm -hmm. uh, There's only one. Is that my brother? <laughs> <laughs> James uh, Mace. Uh, you and Eve? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> James Mace says, uh, I need to re-examine Rob Zombie. I didn't like House of a Thousand Corpses or his take on Halloween when I saw them years ago, but recently saw The Lords of Salem, and I absolutely loved it. He's yeah, got I like a style I didn't appreciate when I first encountered him, but I need to reevaluate. Lords of Salem is just amazing. There you and go. James, guess what? We did an episode on it that you can go back in our back catalog and find it. I was not here for that. I one. was not here for that either. Oh, dang. All yep. right. But I like that movie. Okay. Yeah. I did not like it the first time I saw it, but since then I'm like, well, actually, it was a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. If nothing else, comparatively. Yeah, yeah. Ex exactly. <laughs> it's a low bar, but he like, if you want to get a better perspective, I mean, it's still if you what get a better the hell, of but... any movie, 
Watch 31 and then watch that movie. Yep. Uh, and you'll a never have about the other movie. <laughs> Don't ever tell people to watch 31. I'm yeah, sorry, that's a that's a assault on it's America bad. that movie. Yeah. That's that's terrible. Terrible. pretty it's rough. A war crime. <laughs> well, thank you all each of you. Seriously. Thank you for writing in. Yes, yes, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. We really do. And now we're going to go around the table to tell you what you th- we thought of the movie starting with Hmm. Sean. No. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, mausoleum. Uh, I had no idea what to expect coming into this. I didn't even know about Demon Titties, so that was a mm-hmm. big surprise for yeah. me. Um, always heard of the movie, Mausoleum, obviously. So, uh, But it was very fun to watch tonight. I was very surprised. Um, I mean, we could have uh, set this a good demon. Um, one of John Carl Beekler's better works. Um, Marjo Gortner. Uh, what's her name? Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Breesy, Bobby Breesy. Yeah. Um, man, it is what you would expect from an eighties horror movie. Uh, it's a little sleazy. It's a little gory. It's a little monstery. I had fun with this tonight. Mm-hmm. Like this is, this was a good one. And the ending, I mean, uh, left us with stuff to talk about and to figure out. Mm-hmm. So it was good for that. <laughs> <laughs> that helps as far as this goes. But it was just like a, a fun movie. Like really weird, really interesting. Choices were made. Um, and I appreciate it. It's, it's a weird little movie, but I liked it. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it here tonight. I recommend that you go into the mausoleum. Um, but, you know, get out quick before you get possessed. Yeah. Uh, don't touch anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, don't touch anything. Don't touch the turd yeah, thorn, the turd crown of thorns. If you're not of this one family, you're fine. Right. If you're a guy, I think you're actually fine with it. You may yeah. become a victim of the succubus, but mm-hmm. other than that, you will be fine. Um, but yes, I recommend that you watch Mausoleum. Uh, a good time was had by me, and I think <laughs> it, it will be by you as well. Colin! Uh, what did you think of Mausoleum? Well, I think I'm going to recommend it too, almost in spite of myself, because it's not a good movie, right? But I think the interest is like, I mean, as an 80s monster flick you know like a fun horror movie it kind of checks the box there the effects work i don't know that's what impresses me about it that's what i remember about it and i've seen this movie maybe at least three times before and you know you you just remember like key moments and nothing else you know and it's mostly the monster stuff and i remember that uh bobby breeze got like naked a bunch Mm -hmm. i totally forgot the gardener i totally forgot all the subplots um but every once in a while you're like oh yeah i remember that guy's head blows off Mm -hmm. um and the demon thing and the demon titties and stuff like that so Mm -hmm. it's uh yeah so it's i guess you know yeah if you're a horror fan if you like the kind of movies that we do here i you know you you kind of know what to expect and i'd recommend it check it out michaela what'd you think yeah, I think this is the type of movie the freak show is made for, you know, um, not all of them can hit, you know, as good as, as this or some other ones like Hack-A-Lantern. The different, I'm trying to figure out what the difference is between this and Hack-A-Lantern, right? And yeah, because neither one make any uh, goddamn sense. Yeah, and, and, and like, yeah, I wouldn't truly. say they're necessarily good either, but <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it's but this monster. is, yeah. It's the monster. Yeah. yeah, whereas like the Satanist cult was just way too boring in Hack-A-Lantern, but, and that, I'm looking at the artwork on the, the Blu-ray Holly has here, and that looks like it might be a ghoulish Gary Poland illustration. It kind of does, doesn't Yeah, it? so I'm going to look into that, because if he's done this artwork, that's even fucking cooler, so I might have to get a print from him or something, because it's really cool, but I... Yeah, I, this had been on my list since I saw that comment on Reddit, and I I love when people sell you on a movie without giving anything yeah. away like that. But it's like something a sentence I've never read before. Isn't that that movie with them? Their demon titties is like <laughs> okay. And, and, well, and the yeah. construction of that sentence, yeah, yeah, it, it makes it more interesting. Exactly. So I'm like, oh my god, yeah. Sometimes the internet is truly a gift with things like True, that. Yes. So, um, yeah, you got to watch it. I mean, it's, it's great effects and it's just fun. It's got a cool cemetery atmosphere. It is weird that it's all in the daytime, but yeah. there's a, a lot to enjoy here. Um, and if you know what we do here, this is like perfectly in line with that. So mm-hmm. I'm going to recommend it. Holly. Yeah. Um, looks a little um, creeper from Jeepers Creepersy on the cover. Do you, mm-hmm. do you see it? No, just me. Oh, uh, now that you're saying it. Yeah. 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 Just the jowls yeah. a little bit based yeah. on the cutoff and everything. It looks a little Jeepers yeah, Creepersy. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so obviously like I came across this a while back and it's been in my back pocket specifically for our Halloween episode. Um yeah, I love this movie. I think it's so much fun. It's ridiculous. This 
like this is the, this is why we do the show as movies like this. Yes. Um. So yeah, it's just it's the quintessential ridiculous '80s horror movie. It's got the gore, it's got the boobs, it's it's got demon boobs. You know, we've got monsters, <laughs> boobs, and, and monster boobs? boobs. Like that's just <laughs> yeah. You can't really get much better than that. Um. Yeah. That's it's like so chocolate much fun. And peanut butter. Yeah. It's so much fun. It's so silly and just a good time. It's it's not a good movie, but it's a good time of a movie. Yep. So yeah, obviously I'm gonna recommend it. I was really excited to bring this today. Um. <laughs> And I was really excited to show you that I had physical media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a big day for Holly. I know. It was a, a shocker. I, could, I was so excited to pull that out of my purse. <laughs> <laughs> Collector's yeah. edition. I, I, it is a Gary Pullen oh, illustration. Okay, it looks Fuck like yeah. it. It's fantastic. Oh my God, guys, he still has posters available in his shop. <laughs> it's go. Look, an 18 by 24 of that exact oh, artwork. Yes. Oh amazing. shit, I might have to order this. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I think this movie plays. I think it's. Uh, I think the effect. This would be so a good cool. drive-in movie. This would be a great drive-in movie. Local drive-in people, maybe yeah. you know, pl- you know, uh, uh, schedule something different in your seriously all-night horror movie. I think marathons. this is a great like spooky season drive-in movie. So I would, I definitely recommend it. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Yeah, Ross all right, Liam. Well, that that's, sounds like all four of us are that recommending. Is a freak show recommend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That means contractually you have to watch it. You know, just remember Marjo, ah. Mary, and Joseph. Mary and Joseph. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> so when someone, someone yells at him, they're like, Jesus, Marjo. Yeah. Just completing the trilogy. Get the whole the family. Trilogy? Yeah. Uh-huh. Jesus, I, think, Mary and I think they should have known this was going to be a mob funded movie because the, the uh, distribution company is motion picture marketing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's come on. Come on. <laughs> You should know. Well, hey, they clean it up. It looks very nice. Yeah. Looks great. It looks great. Thank uh, you, the Vinner opening Syndrome. titles, not so much, are a little flickery, but the rest of the movie looks great. <laughs> it's great. Thank you, yeah. Vinner It's Syndrome. crystal clear. Once again. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Well, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. follow that. <laughs> I know. It's a tough act to follow, and I don't know if we're going to do it. Week. Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings, oh! next week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, monsters. We're going monsters. Yeah. Hell monsters yeah, we are. for yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Is that the actual Halloween episode? might be, but uh, next week, we're going to be watching Blood Wings Pumpkin and two blood two. wings, nineteen ninety three. So it's thirty time. years old this year. All right, I, I have, I've never seen this, so okay. we'll see. No, nope. no, I think there's. A I saw one scene that made me laugh, so I said, "Okay, we gotta watch it." <laughs> oh yeah, this is with the shoes and stuff. Okay, mm-hmm. yep. Gotcha. All right, well, we appreciate you again for listening. Thank you very much. And until next week, the basement is going dark. The mausoleum is closed. <laughs> Don't go in. <laughs>